Okay friends welcome back and in this polymer tutorial I will show you how to fetch data from a URL so maybe I will just first explain what I am trying to do and then go on to do, do, do it so I will just wait for the page to reload okay. so here is our routing app and it works perfectly fine but we leave that there may be a case that after users there may be a random name of a person and it may be just any name and you want to fetch this part of the URL that is the name of that has been put out here and fetch it into the app itself so i will now quickly show you how to do th do this and it is quite simple so first i'll make a another link and i'll just give this a data out of something so i'll just give this like data out of username okay and i'll just give this a url of like users slash i'll name it like rob or maybe just name it like Nike okay. so going into the routing.html file what you will have to do is that you will have to create a function such that it maps this kind of URL to itself and then goes on to do the uh, another call which will replace uh, which will actually replace the data on the screen with with the new data so I'll just explain this whole to the whole thing to you first we will make the function again and give this function a url slash users because this url should be similar to this this uh, href part out here so i'll just map it to this function and then i'll put in a colon and then a na whatever name we want so i'll just give this space a like username okay okay so now you'll notice that here i, I have first put a colon and then given this a variable of like username so what this function would go on to do is like whenever it will find slash users and after that what that it finds some other kind of thing wh whatever the string may be it will map that string to this this variable out here and we'll just complete the function now and so in the function part we'll just first give this app dot route is equal to user info or maybe just username i'll just confirm it okay so this app dot route should always match this part the data route part so we have given the this thing out here a username so i'll just replace this okay so now we have given the app dot route part is complete and one more thing that we'll have to do out here is that give this app the the params parameter and and in this we'll have to put in data dot params okay so what this thing will do is that whatever the data is passed on from the url it will then go ahead and pass this data which has been put into the data dot params to the app dot params which we can then show onto the screen so just to complete the code i'll just go ahead and complete it so I'll just put in here username and and in this space I'll just put in something like a b tag and inside this b tag I'll okay, wait okay, so we know that we cannot put a space or anything like kind of that so I'll just kind of reformat the code and okay so now all we have to do out here is that we have to do like a params dot username okay so why username out here because the, in the routing.html we are mapping the extra url part to the uh, to a variable named username so in the output part also we have to do a params dot username so i'll just go ahead and refresh and see what happens okay, i'll just re may rename this link also so user name okay so you can see out here and now I'll just refresh again. So we see that a new link is present, and as soon as we click on this link, okay, it is giving us an error. And got data is not defined. Okay, I'll just go ahead and see what is happening. Okay, so this function is actually giving us an error out here. So actually, the error is occurring because this function would actually also take in a params property like data okay so whenever this function actually uh, is map 
whenever this function goes on and maps something like a slash user name or a variable out here, it will pass that the, it will pass that object to this data function out here from which we can extract the yeah, the data that was sent through the URL in this apps.params object and uh, which we can further on go and display onto the page. So now if we go and refresh okay. so I am clicking on different links and it is working fine. So now if I click on this user's name okay so this thing is actually sh being shown out here and username is actually also fine so are we okay so there was a typing error out here so I'll just rename this part and let's see what happens okay so now we can see that the output that is was passed through the url is correctly being displayed here so if i just replace this part with something like mic okay okay so earlier also it was mic i'll just put it something like rob and if I just press enter okay so now we can see that this thing has been updated to Rob in a similar way we can just put in any name out here and that function would map would that URL would be mapped and whatever the name will pass on to here uh, will be, will be actually able to derive it in this part so you can see this is used in many many cases such as in apps like or websites like facebook and all which will require a facebook slash username and then go on uh, and then as you put in any username of the person you want to see the id of it goes on to map the url takes the username and then goes on to fetch the data from the server and it dis displays that data so so what if if we want to extend this a little more and we have something like a rob slash you profile or something like photos after this after this uh, variable part out here so we can do that too and that too is also quite easily can be quite easily achieved so we'll talk about that in the next tutorial so definitely stay tuned for the next tutorial guys and subscribe to the channel and please like the videos and thank you